I'd say one thing which has certainly shaped, certainly shapes my preaching and my teaching is um, the teaching and preaching that I've sat under, and that would be um, childhood through today, um, and and both in terms of local church contexts, um, uh, preaching I've sat under, teaching I've sat under, but also um, you know in the in the internet age, access to so much good, solid teaching. Um, and so, you know, there's a, there's a number of, of preachers and, and teachers there who've, um, just by sitting in that kind of teaching, um, I think inevitably have been shaped by that. One thing that's been very helpful in terms of shaping my preaching and my teaching has been the Rephidim preaching cohort. And we only meet quarterly. I see, I see these men four times a year. But it's incredible the influence that that's that that's had on my preaching. And really, almost as soon as I was preaching weekly, I was plugged into a preaching cohort, and that's been incredibly helpful um, because I'm getting consistent feedback from men who are in the trenches. Um, and uh, you know, in in that group, there's beginning preachers, and then there's real experienced preachers, and that that breadth of feedback is really helpful. And uh, uh, you know, I. I mentioned earlier, my congregation is very kind to me. So uh, I, I tend to get good feedback. Uh, the critical feedback tends only to come from my wife. Uh, and that's really helpful. Maybe maybe she's the number two <laughs> influence. Uh, and and uh, uh, But the preaching cohort has been really helpful in terms of shaping both exegesis and application, really the whole thing.